Aaron, your life seems very interesting and also quite sad so far. Again, I'm deeply sorry about the family tragedy. On to a better chapter of your life, though. You have made quite an impact on many Jews in the Jaffa area. When you were living in Jaffa, what was it like? Thank you again for your condolences. To start with, the basis of Jewish life in Jaffa was centered around the synagogue and the hostel set up for Jews passing through Jaffa on their way to various cities. By 1867, there were already nearly 800 Jews in Jaffa. It was getting far too crowded. And that's why you decided you needed a different place to live? That's right. So where did you go? Did you just move somewhere else in Jaffa, or did you move to a different city? Actually, neither. I decided I was going to establish my own city. I called it Nevet Tzedek, translating to Paths of Righteousness. It was actually the first Jewish city to be established outside of the walls of the ancient part of Jaffa. It must have been an amazing experience. It really was. So now that we know how you feel about Jaffa, what are your hopes for Nevei Tzedek? I was really tired of the filthy and crowded streets of Jaffa, and I wanted to make some changes in the new city that I built. My hopes for Nevei Tzedek are that it will be a sanitary, spacious, and quiet city where, I, uh, where we can live together with my Jewish community. Thank you so much for coming today, Mr. Shirush. It's a pleasure.